All right. Uh, hi there. Welcome to the third part of the Australian Transect um, assessment video. Uh, hopefully you've been sort of coasting along with the other two parts and you're sort of well on your way to finishing it. In today's uh, tutorial, we're going to look at this section here, um, how to construct the transect itself. So you should see, uh, hopefully, you've at that point where you've done um, the cross section, you've done the vertical exaggeration, you've done the scale. Um, some of you may have done the climatic graphs, and you can look at one of my other videos to tell you how to do that. Um, but today's one, we're going to be looking at the at the transect and and how you construct that. Well, the first thing you're going to need to do is get a map. Um, and you'll need four maps. You'll need one on climate, you'll need one on land use, one on land forms, and uh, one on... I can't remember what the other one is off my top of my head, but you need four of them. This is one This one here is the climate classification. It's from the Bureau of Meteorology, um, so it's a, you know, it's a well-respected source. Now, the way they've broken their climate... Uh, the climates up is a little bit different to some others. Look, uh, I like some of them. I don't like some of the other ones. You can see, so they've broken into the equatorial, tropical, subtropical, temperate, and then they've got two biomed classes. Look, you know, for the for what we're using, I'm happy to use a map like this. Um, but uh, you know, it, it probably wouldn't have been my first choice. But I did like this, the look of this one. Right, what do you have to do with it then? Um, well, what you can see I've done, I've uh, taken a photocopy of it. I'd suggest you do a colour photocopy, but um, look, a black and white, you'll you'll be able to get the same effect. So you can see I've taken a, a black and white photocopy of it. Um, I actually, I did two. I'd suggest you have two photocopies of it, and you'll see why a little bit later. Okay, so to construct the transect, what you've got to do is you've got to draw your line in, draw your transect line. You can see mine's here. Um, it, doesn't, it, it has to be pretty much uh, uh, from point A to point B. Uh, look, you know, if you're off by you know, 20, 30 kilometres at each spot, look, it's got, not going to make a huge difference, but if you're well off, if you're a few hundred kilometres off, yeah, that will make a big difference. So you, you draw your line in and you measure it. You'll be able to see that mine is measured at... Uh, what is it, 15.8 centimetres long. It's really important that you've got um, got the measurement of your line um, and you'll see why in a moment. And, you know, some of you might even be able to work out why uh, when you think about having to transcribe your measurements onto the transect. Okay, so once you've measured the line, you need, you're going to need some scrap paper. And with your scrap paper, you put it along the line um, and you draw in a little dot everywhere where your scrap paper, uh, where, the, where the scrap paper sort of crosses a different climatic region. That way then you'll be able to uh, write and, trans and, and transcribe information on it. So you, you do that with your scrap piece of paper. Then, and this is why I've used two maps, um, I've put the scrap piece of paper and on the transect line and I've got the other map with all of the climatic zones and information above it. What you need to do is you need to measure out each uh, separate little zone in centimetres. So you can see mine, this first one here is, well, it might not, you might not be able to see it just because of the resolution, but it's sort of 0.3, and then the next one's 1, and then the next one's, I think, oh, no, point Oh, that one, first one's 0.5, sorry, then 0.1, 0.3, 1.4, and then so on. I've then also used these climatic zones and written down. So the first one's temperate with mild summer, then temperate with hot summer, uh, temperate mild summer, hot, hot persistently dry, hot drought, hot persistently dry, and then so on up to s tropical uh, savannah. Okay, once you've done that, you've then got to sort of work out, well, how do I get my sort of map, at, uh, my map here, my transect line here, how do I turn that into something measurable for, to fit along the transect line? And well, what you've got to do, if we think back to that measurement that we first had of how long this line is, we remembered that that was 15.8 uh, centimetres long. 
And if you go back to the last video, you remember that the transect line and the cross-section line is 85 centimetres. So what you've got to work out is, all right, well, what do I have to do to get this number to 85? So if you divide it, then you end up with 5.4. So basically, if you times 15.8 by 5.4, it gives you 85. So what you'll need to do is basically every single small measurement up the top here, if you times all of these by 5.4, that will give you a distance in centimetres that you can put onto the transect. And just as I'm writing, just as a little side note, um, there's my pretzel that I'm about to have at the end of this video. So you can see I've done that now. I've times the 0.5 by 5.4, the 1 by 5.4, the 0.3 by 5.4, and I've now got these measurements. These are the measurements here that are going to go up onto my transect. So you can see the first one here of 2.7, that is there my 2.7. This next one here of 5.4 is this one here of 5.4, 1.6, 7.56, and then this one that's going to go off, the 29.16. Once you've done that and you've uh, gone the whole way along, you then need to write into each of them the appropriate uh, label. So temperate, mild, summer, temperate, hot, summer, temperate, mild, summer, hot, desert, hot, per, uh, persistently dry, and you do that the whole way along. Okay, as an overview, uh, so you'll need to do this four times with four different maps. Uh, the, probably the biggest, uh, the, the thing that you'll find the hardest is, is finding an appropriate map, one that's got enough detail that allows you to get, you know, um, variation in your in your transect but your other problem then is that you know if you find a map that's too detailed uh, and far too detailed it, it'll become a bit of a nightmare to put it on so you need to find that just the appropriate map as I said the one that I've just had and I've used for the for this demonstration some of the climatic zones weren't the ideal zones that I would have been looking for but I thought the map was a quite a good map to use for a demonstration it had sort of just the right amount of um, zones and differentiate you know, different, um, different, differentiation between climates along my transects. So I quite liked it for that, and for the, um, and just for a purpose of using it for the um, uh, for this demonstration. Um, so that'll be that'll be your hardest thing, um, and then also just making sure that you do your your calculations correct. So you you uh, you don't end up having it too short or too long. My suggestion would always be before you start putting it onto the transect itself, add up your numbers and make sure they add up to your 85 centimetres um, or 86 centimetres or however long your transect is. But make sure that before you transcribe it on that you add them up and make sure that it works. Uh, and once you've done that, fill it in. Uh, you, might want to use a, you might want to use a key as well to colour it if you've got lots of small areas to... Uh, to sort of um, show show some difference, so you might colour it as well, um, and that will also make it you know more presentable as well. Okay, hopefully you've found this an informative uh, uh, demonstration, and that you know once you've looked at this, you won't have any problems getting through this next section. Okay, have a great rest of the day. Bye.